Hi! Welcome to the series of video tutorials on SmartAP Autopilot. In this video, I will demonstrate the process of mounting the autopilot, peripherals, and their connections on airframe. I assume that you already have your motors and ESCs mounted on your airframe. First of all, let's mount the autopilot. You can place it any orientation you want. It can be configured later in the software. Just make sure to align the device with X and Y axis of the airframe as precise as possible. And also, make sure to mount the autopilot as close to the center of mass as possible. I choose the default orientation and mount the flight controller with the front arrow facing forward. So next remove the double-sided tape and attach the autopilot to the airframe top plate. Alright, now let's mount the GPS and main tometer module. Make sure to mount it as far from the electromagnetic sources as possible. This will result in better flight performance later. Usually it can be done with a mast. Let's attach the GPS model to a mast. Now we can mount the mast on our airframe. Make sure to align the GPS model with X and Y axis of an airframe. If you want to mount it any other orientation, it's also possible and can be configured later in the software. Twist the cable around the mast if it's too long, as in my case. Telemetry module can be mounted anywhere on your airframe. Just make sure that its antenna is not shadowed by any other things and keep it far enough from high current sources and electromagnetic emitters. Power module is usually mounted on a lower plate of an airframe. Make sure that it can be easily connected to the battery later. RC receiver can be either SBUS or PPM. It's better to locate it near the rear left side of the autopilot. In this case, cable connection will be easier. Also, attach the sounder to an airframe. It can be placed anywhere you like. I will place it on the one of the arms. Now we can connect the cables. GPS module cable goes to GPS MAG port. Telemetry module cable goes to radio port. Power module cable goes to PWR port. RC receiver PPM or SBUS cable goes to PPM SBUS port of the flight controller. If you would like to use S port functionality of your receiver to get real time telemetry on your transmitter, you can simply connect S port of the autopilot to S port of the flight controller with free wireless cable and no any additional boards or converters needed. Everything is already integrated for your convenience. Please connect the ESC wire of the first motor to PWM number 1 of the flight controller. PWM number 2 goes to the second motor. PWM number 3 goes to the third motor. And finally, PWM number 4 goes to the fourth motor. This is how the fully assembled vehicle with mounted autopilot and other peripherals looks like. In the next tutorial we will install the software and proceed to the configuration steps. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video!